We're on Chulin Perik Vav Mishnah Aleph, first Mishnah in the sixth chapter of Masechet Chulin. We're going to talk about the law of Kisui Hadam. The halacha of Kisui Hadam is an obligation to cover blood. When a person slaughters an animal, he has to cover blood. This is in Vayikra. Torah says in Vayikra Perik Yud Zayin that okay, when you slaughter an animal, Ish Ish Mi Bnei Israel, man from Bnei Israel, Lemina Gera Garbitocham, the strangers who sojourn among them, Asher Yatsud Tzed Chaya Oaf, who shall trap. Take in hunting any beast or fowl that may be eaten, Asher Yachel. Vishafach et damo, when you pour out the blood, Vikisahu be'afar. Kisahu be'afar, you must cover it with dust. Kisui hada. And it says, Seid, meaning trapping. The Torah says trapping. Chaya o'of. We're going to learn about what is chaya or of chaya birds or, uh, or chaya, beast. So it says the Mishnah, Kisui Hadam no Heg Ba'aret u Bechutz Aret. The Minag, or not the Minag, the, the obligation to cover the blood applies whether you're in Israel or outside of Israel. Bifnei Abayi Bishalom, Bifnei Abayi, whether the Beit Amigdash is standing or whether it's not standing, meaning all times, it's, it, no, no matter what. Bechulin, for Chulin, i.e. not not Kachim, not the, that not things that are sanctified. Abalom be Mukudashim, not Mukudashim, whether it's Chata ta'of, ola ta'of, right? It's the chata of the bird, or ola of the bird, or If you slaughtered something that was sanctified for bedek that you gave to the Beit Amikdash as a donation, it doesn't require, you're not supposed to do that, you shouldn't do that, it doesn't require kiso of Hedam. We know it applies for chaya and all birds, okay? Mizuman means whether it's domesticated or not, meaning the, the Torah seems to imply, it says, Said trap, but the Mishnah says that that's that's, that, that, that's the 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 Chazal understood that's not, not only if it's trapped, but whether it's mizuman or not, ova gadol babay domesticated or not doesn't matter. But all of those require kisui. What is a chaya? So uh, if you look in a, a chaya, there's seven types of chaya that are listed in the Torah. Ayal tzvi. This is in Devarim Perakah Yudalin. Ayal tzvi achmor ako dishon toov isamer hart gazelle roebuck wild goat pigarg. I don't know if you've ever heard pigar, kosher animal, antelope, and mountain sheep. All of those require if you if you if you um, if you slaughter any of those animals, you have to do kisur hedam. Nowadays, kisur hedam is done mostly because we shot a lot of birds, many many fowl. So any any uh, shochet who has slaughters a bird, you have to do kisur hedam. You have to cover the blood, literally take the blood that's spilled and cover it with dirt. We're going to learn the halachot in this in this uh, in this uh, in this uh, chapter. Menorah bekoi. So you apply uh, the, the, these halachot of, of carving the blood to a koi. What's a koi? Let's look at our jastro. Koi, kind of bearded, bearded deer antelope. Next page. A bearded deer antelope. Okay, the rabbis even undecided whether koi belongs to genus of cattle or beasts, chaya or behima. And that's our Mishnah. That's our Gemara and Mishnah in Chulim. We'll go back. So they have to apply to a koi. So there was this koi. They all knew what a koi was. We don't really know what a koi, what, what they're referring to. But they knew what it was. Because it was a suffix, whether it was a chaya or a behima. Okay, beria, it's its own species. So they didn't know is it a chaya requires. Okay, you shouldn't slaughter your koi in Yom Tov. Why? Because covering the dirt, dirt is muktza, and you have to dig. That's a chilu Yom Tov. If it's not, if it's a behima, then it doesn't require. So you're not allowed to move the dirt uh, for, for unnecessarily. And if you slaughtered it, you don't kiss your adam, obviously on Yom Tov. Why? Even if you had ready dirt, because if somebody sees you, then the person will see it and say, oh, it's a chaya, because he's doing kiss your adam. That's why you covered its blood. Yom Tov. And you'll be matter, it's chelev, this fat. Because there are certain fats that in a behima, in, in a domesticated animal, were prohibited, that were not prohibited in a chaya. So they'll see the koi and they'll say, oh, you can eat the fats of the koi because it's a chaya. When really Chachamim thought it was a suffix, they weren't sure. We'll stop here, dedicate our learning. The memory of my father, Harab Simcha Ben Yitzchak Kalman. Make it a great day.